to hack code. In this video, we'll deep dive into the designing and implementing a data structure that supports adding new words and searching for a word with the ability to use period as a wildcode character to match any letter. This problem is essential for understanding advanced data structures and is frequently asked in technical terms. Let's dive in. Design a data structure that supports adding in new words and finding if a string matches any previously added string. So implement the word dictionary class. So this is the initial boilerplate code given. So it has a methods in it. This for initialization, uh, add word and search. So here add word, it adds a word to the data structure. It can be matched later and search returns a boolean. So it returns true if there is any string in a data structure that matches word or false otherwise. Word may contain dots where the dots can be matched with any letter. So essentially here we need to design a data structure that supports two main operations, adding a new word or searching for a word. So the search operation should allow for the wild wildcode characters, specifically the period character used to represent any letter. This flexibility makes the problem more challenging and interesting. So here let's look into the example. Uh, uh, this is the input and this is the output. So here uh, basically this is the set of operations they perform and this is the in input of the each stays. Uh, so in the explanation we see that uh, first they given word dictionary right. So here they are initializing the class word dictionary and then they are adding the word bad. So and after that they are adding word dad and then they are adding mad and after that they are searching for the pad. So this returns false because we don't have pad at in this. So after that they are searching for the word bad. So this returns true because we already added the ba uh, bad here. So post that they are searching for the wildcard character uh, one uh, at the first position and AD followed by this. So it should return to because we have the patterns matching that uh, like bad, dad and mad. So these three matches it. So we return true. So and then we have the uh, other wildcard character search here. So this time we have B followed by two periods. So this also returns true because we have a bad in the word dictionary. So constraints here. The word length is in the enclosure range of 1 to 25 and the word in the add word consists of a lowercase English letters. So word in the search consists of a period or lowercase English letters. There will be at most two dots in the word uh, for the search queries and at most 10 power 4 calls will be made to add word and the search. So let's try into the approach. So to solve this problem. We can use a try the prefix t to store the words and implement a search function that can handle the wildcode characters. So here is the approach we'll take. So first we define a try node class. This class will represent the each node in our try. So each node will be have a dictionary of children nodes and a boolean flag to mock the end of the word. So on the next is uh, we already have the word dictionary class defined right. So we have to just fill the methods in it. Next is algorithm. So for the add word method. First, we initialize the current node to the root and then for each character in the word. So if the character is not a child of the current node, we create a new try node and then we move to the child node corresponding to each character. So after processing all the character, we mark the current node as the end of the word. So this is to indicate that the word ends here. So next is search method. So first we implement a recursive helper here to handle the search operation. So if the current character is a period, we recursively search for possible child nodes. So this includes all possible child nodes. And then if the character is a normal letter, we move to the corresponding child node. If we reach the end of the word, we check if the current uh, node is mocked as the end of the word. So if yes, we return true. So let's look at the flowchart here. So here we have two flows. One is for the adding word and one is for searching the word. So first look into the add word flowchart. So for the add word, we process the each character. So first we check if the character exists. If S, we move to the child node. If no, we create a new try node. And then uh, post that uh, if all the characters were processed, then we mock it as the end of the word. So this ends the flow for the adding the word. So next is the search word. Here, Similarly here we process each character. So first we check if the character is a period. If S we recursively search for all children. If no we move to the corresponding child node. So after that if we reach the end we check if the end of the word is reached and then return the result. So basically the result is the value of the boolean the end of the word. 
and then if it is n is not reached uh, we we can't be searching again in the loop so let's look in the dry run here so i'll just insert the root node here so for that uh, like let's try adding the word bad here so this is just for representational purpose for understanding so for the word bad we first uh, initialize the root node and then we uh, we first process uh, character b since we don't have any character b here in the chain uh, we create a new try node and then uh, we mock it as a like we have the for a try node for different for b process for the character a because the next word uh, next character is a right in the bad so for that uh, since we don't have any a uh, chain for the b as a we create a new try node and mock it as a and then post that uh, we have left with only uh, character d so for that also we form a new try node uh, and then we mock it as a d here since this is the end of the word we have to mock this as end of uh, end of the word here so we'll represent that using the under same node but in the code it would be different so here let's add this here yeah so this is the flow for adding the word bad so next let's uh, try for the searching uh, the word b dot dot so basically this uh, with any pa pattern dot dot uh, if the word ends with like three uh, if it is a three character word uh, that starts with b then that's a, that's enough for us to return true right because we uh, dot dot can uh, match any literally any character here so for that uh, we have the word uh, ad here so similarly start from the root node as we discussed in the flowchart and then we process the b since we have the b found we move to the child node since this, this is the dot operator we search for the uh, next child node that is a here uh, so here and then uh, we go with the next child node d and then uh, we have all the uh, words in the given we have all the characters in the given word process so that is b dot dot is processed now so then we check if the end of the word is true so since here end of the word is mock true i'm just representing as a, a node here but in reality it would be a true boolean so we return true for this because we have the match phone for b dot dot right so so let's look at the code explanation so on the high level the try node class initializes the each node with the dictionary of children and a boolean flag to mock the end of the word so the class contains the methods to add word and search for the words so here on the uh, high level the word add word method does is like it iterates the each character in the word creating nodes as needed and mocks the end of the word so next is the search method this uses a recursive helper function to create a little white called characters and iterates to the try to find matches and check if the end of the word is reached so here uh, now let's look into the line by line explanation uh, so here uh, as we discussed we just initializing the dictionary for the children in the try node and then we have a under like end of the word uh, false like initialized to false this for ha uh, uh, noting that the end of the word is reached if it is reached like we mock as true by default we keeping as false so in the word dictionary class we initializing the root node to the try and then in the method add word uh, it which takes the word uh, this of uh, type string so and it, this returns none because this, uh, this just like adding the word we don't need to return anything so here uh, first we getting the node initialized to self dot root so so we starting from the root node here and then we processing the each character in the word so uh, for each character we checking if the character not in the uh, children of the node we creating it a new try node for that so after, after that we moving the child node here for the character and then after all these characters are processed we mock it as the end of the word is true so and the next is we have the search method w within this uh, we define a utility function search in the node so this is for uh, recursion purpose we define it here so uh, for each uh, character in the word we just process it so we just check it um, uh, if it is a dot or a period operator so if it is a period operator we need to search across the all child nodes right so that's why we are uh, going through all the child nodes here so this is just like uh, since it's a dictionary we are getting the values here this is node dot children dot values which is basically the all child nodes values here and then uh, we are just calling the function recursively here so with the word of i plus 1 because the 
word ith character is already processed so we need to process this from the ith plus 1 character till the end so that's why we're slicing the string and sending the child node here in place of node uh, initially we would be passing the root node so but here since the root is the child node here like for this ne next nodes we pass the child node so uh, if it is written true we uh, true we written true so and then uh, other case is written false so if the character is not a period or dot uh we do a same search uh, like like just like normal search here so we just check if the character is not in the node dot children we return false so and then if it is there we move, we move to the child of the character so at the end then if the node dot is end of the word basically this says that uh, if the end of the word is mock true uh, that uh, and it means that the word is actually present in our dictionary so we, we return true if it exists and we return false if it doesn't exist so we invoke the method here so let's look into the complex analysis the time complexity here is of m for the add word operation so here m is the length of the word and for the search operation it is of n into 26 power m where uh, n is the number of words stored in the try m is the length of the word being searched and 26 represents the number of possible characters in the english alphabet in the worst case scenario the way the word being searched has a length of m and each character in the try node has 26 possible children uh, this is one for each letter of the alphabet so we might need to explore all possible branches of a try uh, for the each character in the word so this results in the time complexity of 4 of 26 power m however we need to perform this operation for each of the n words stored in the try so therefore the total time, uh, time complexity becomes o of n into 26 power m as we need to traverse to the try for the each word being searched this exponential time complexity highlights the importance of efficient implementation and op optimization techniques when working with the try based data structures especially for the scenarios with a large number of words and long search queries space complexity is o of n into m where n is the number of words and m is the average length of the words demo and conclusion So I've got the code ready here. Let's try submitting this. So yeah, it's accepted solution. Conclusion. We explored the design and implementation of a tri-based data structure that supports adding and searching words with the wildcard characters. This data structure is highly efficient for the prefix-based searches and has a numerous application in the real-world scenarios like autocomplete and spell checkers. Make sure to practice this implementation to solidify your understanding and prepare for the coding interviews. Thank you for tuning to the 